Welcome back, everyone. Boy, there's a phrase we hear, I don't think a day goes by that you don't hear about post-traumatic stress syndrome. And just, I think, very generically to describe that, it's something that a lot of people in the military face when they return home from being in the battlefield. And it can be devastating. It can lead to suicide, uh, broken relationships, broken careers, and you hear it said a lot, but a lot of times you don't really honestly know what it means. Mm -hmm. Well, in our community here, the Lions Club, as part of their 12th annual duathlon, is going to, uh, part of the program is to raise money for a very worthwhile cause called Saratoga War Horse. And joining me today is Bill Jibo, who's a former president of the Lions Club and is the director of this duathlon. So welcome, Bill. Nice to have you here. Thank you. And joining us also is Bob Nevins, who is the founder and the director for the organization Saratoga War Horse. Uh, I'm going to start with you, Bill. Uh, the, I said we've been doing this duathlon for 12 years. I've spoken at the Lions Club. W the Lions Club is pretty much focused on five disciplines, right? What are those? That's mm -hmm. correct. Uh, the, our five disciplines are uh, sight, hearing, diabetes, youth, and community development. And Good. this program uh, is a spin-off from the duathlon, but really is focused on uh, uh, our helping our community develop, and that's... Right, now under the banner you were telling me of Honor a Veteran, correct? Correct. Now as part of your community outreach program of those five disciplines that the Lions focus on. That's correct, Jesse. And this duathlon, how, how are you doing that with this uh, annual duathlon? We're, um, we've always had a, uh, a military or a patriotic flavor on our duathlon, and we've decided this year to, to really go full board to theme the duathlon to honor military veterans. Mm -hmm. So what we're doing is uh, anyone that wants to honor a veteran in their life uh, can buy a flag, or can uh, honor that veteran uh, through PayPal or a list that we'll provide on our uh, special uh, website. Mm -hmm. And they pay the $5 per veteran. And uh, the flag is purchased uh, to honor that veteran. Uh, the, the veteran's name is placed on the flag. And it will be uh, displayed at our duathlon. The proceeds from that sale of the flags will be donated directly to uh, Saratoga War Horse through our foundation. I got it. Um, so look, let's segue right into Saratoga War Horse. This is a fascinating organization. Um, so again, you know, so little is really known about the post-traumatic stress syndrome. What it triggers in someone that shuts them down. Um, what circuits do you reset to enable somebody to actually feel again? You know, and it's somewhat ambivalent, I know it, but there's a certain special relationship between humans and horses. And that's what the focus is of Saratoga War Horse, right? Correct. So tell me about it. Well, uh, Saratoga War Horse is a peer-to-peer -peer program. We're focusing on veterans who are dealing with the issues of post-traumatic stress, suicidal ideation. And what we've been able to do is engage the horse in a unique way where we're able to reset the emotional circuit breakers that have popped on these veterans who have experienced really what you can call emotional overload. Yes, and, right, sure. uh, And talk therapy is not reaching the depths to which you need to go to reset these circuit breakers. Mm -hmm. But there's something mystical, magical about when the horse bonds with the human which we can teach the veteran to do. There's an actual procedure involved. We teach them to do that. And it's miraculous to watch the turnaround mm -hmm. in the veteran. Well, you know what I've, I've, I've had veterans say to me, you know, they come home, they're so skeptical of the language that's used to try to make them feel again. And this is an unspoken language. Uh, humans are predators. Horses are flight animals. Correct. A trust has to be developed between the two in order for this to happen, and that's a non-verbal trust. Exa but, exactly right. Yeah. And for a, a veteran who has disconnected emotionally and is right. unable to trust, to have a thousand pound animal come to them and actually ask them in horse language, could you be my partner? That's right. It, it's just so emotional for a human being to experience that. 
that that's what we think is doing the resetting of these emotional circuit breakers. Now, uh, Bob has been involved with this, started this four or five years ago, I guess, after a successful career as an airline pilot. And you went through, I'm, I'm going to say it's a course, I know it wasn't a course, but you had to experience this yourself first, but, and then came up with the idea to reach out. Mm, yeah, I, I had seen in the horse world that they were talking about natural horsemanship and these communication uh, techniques that were possible. And I just thought it was fascinating, and I went out and I actually did it. But what I did not expect was the emotional reaction that I was going to have yeah, right. being able to do this and having this horse bond with me. Mm -hmm. And then I just contemplated that for quite a while. And when I decided, let's see, I put a team together. Let's see if we can do this for other veterans. Mm -hmm. And the results were from day one, exactly the same. And now we've graduated over 400 veterans through this program and this technique. And they're, they're, they're thriving. Oh, I, that's remarkable. Again, and four, over 400 vets have uh, participated in this program from all over the country, mm -hmm. right? And any war, by the way. Correct. Correct? Any Correct. war, any military service that they may have, any, uh, any service that they have. I've had Korean War veterans in wow. their 80s come to me, mm -hmm. and they say the exact same thing that a 24-year-old says. Mm -hmm. I can't feel. I've disconnected. The number one indicator is I can't sleep. Yes, right. So when they tell me I haven't slept in 20 years, I know what war they've been in. Yes, and, uh, right. And it's all the same. Mm -hmm. so. You know, when you think about uh, the emotional stress alone, when you're in, in, in the field, you're taught not to feel. <laughs> you're, you're surviving. It's a survival mode, right? You're triggering all these different aspects of your human nature just to survive and make it through. Mm -hmm. And you come back, and that's not a light switch. That's you just right. don't turn that one off. That's right. You know? <clears throat> and that's why with the therapies that are available today, <clears throat> they're not reaching that place where you need to reset. Mm -hmm. And somehow the horse goes right to that place. Yeah, I, I, <clears throat> that, that, that's just a remarkable relationship. Yeah. I've heard about it a number of different times. You know, and I know the medications help, and medic medications in many ways numb things too, you know, so, which right. only compounds the problem over the, over the years. Which is a major issue in the veteran population, sure. which is why we've come up with a more natural remedy mm -hmm. that uh, is been working. Now, Saratoga War Horse started here in Saratoga. What a natural place considering the history with horses, of course. Uh, they've got the farm right here, right outside of Saratoga. It's now developed into a national organization and they need support. Uh, there's no cost to the veterans. The, vet the foundation brings the veterans in. They contact you and they come in. Three days. Correct. Correct. It, it's very quick and uh, the reason that the community of support is so crucial is because as the veterans start coming through this process, they're saying, we didn't realize anybody cared about us. Yeah, that's always And I'm key. saying, this is Saratoga and we're, we care about you. We have yes. another facility in South Carolina now, and that community of Aiken, South Carolina, embraces War Horse, and we're putting veterans through that facility too. Mm -hmm. But it's the community support that the veterans relate to. Got it, okay, so you know what we need to do here. Uh, the duathlon is on May 29th, it's Memorial Day weekend, right? That's usually, correct. That's yeah. usually when you hold it, right? Every year, it's yeah, been that way so. for past 11 years. Yeah, got it, okay. So please participate, uh, come to the duathlon, but uh, you know, get to the Lions Club website or get to Saratoga War Horses website and find out how you can contribute and what you can do, right? Right. To help this <clears throat> incredibly worthwhile organization. Mm -hmm. Well guys, thanks for coming in. Okay. I really good. appreciate you and, coming in. And if I could just add, yes, if course. anybody out there has a family member, it doesn't mm -hmm. matter where they are in the country and you know that they're struggling, please direct them to Saratoga War Horse, the website, mm -hmm. and that veteran will eventually contact us. That's great. And of course, then your, a veteran does contact you. They go through this. They reap the benefits of it. That word spreads. And that's a community that I don't think there's many other communities like the veterans community. That's You're right. right. That's <laughs> how it works. Right. Yes, that's exactly how it works. Thank you, Bill. Thank you, Bob. Thank you. Great Thank to you. see you guys. Appreciate it. Thanks. Thanks a lot. To see this interview again, you can head to our website. LookTVonline.com.